Torture is considered by some a legitimate way to punish or coerce information from a prisoner. During medieval times, the forms of punishment were cruel and were not always used for true criminals. Today we look at five perversely created devices used to inflict pain and cause humiliation on the unfortunate. Welcome to the House of Strange. A Branks was an instrument of punishment used primarily on women as a form of torture and public humiliation. Wives who were accused as witches, shrews, or scolds were forced to wear an iron muzzle in an iron framework that enclosed the head. A curb plate, about two inches long and one inch wide, projected into the mouth and pressed down on top of the tongue. The curb plate was frequently studded with spikes so that if the offender moved her tongue, it inflicted pain and made speaking impossible. Cucking stools, or ducking stools, were chairs formerly used for punishment of disorderly women. They were both instruments of public humiliation and censure, primarily for the offense of scolding or backbiting, and less often for sexual offenses like bearing an illegitimate child or prostitution. Usually the chair was fastened to a long wooden beam fixed as a seesaw on the edge of a pond or river and was lowered into the water. Repeated duckings routinely proved fatal, the victim dying of shock or drowning. The Judas Cradle was an instrument closely related to impalement. This gruesome punishment entailed having the victim sit on the pyramid-shaped cradle, after which they would be forced down on it by ropes with the intent of stretching the victim's orifice over a long period of time, slowly impaling them. To add to the overall humiliation, the victim was usually naked and the device was rarely washed. So if the torture did not kill you, the infection contracted from it would. The rack was designed to dislocate every joint in the victim's body. It was believed to be the most painful form of medieval torture. This torture device was made out of a wooden frame with two ropes fixed to the bottom and the other two tied into the handle on top. Once the victim was bound and placed on top of the rack, the torturer would proceed to turn the handle. Eventually, the victim would be stretched till his limbs were dislocated. The torturers, however, would continue to turn the wheel until the limbs were completely torn off of the victim's body. Usually filled with molten lead, tar, boiling water, or boiling oil, the lead sprinkler was used to torture victims by dripping the contents onto their stomach or other body parts. Using this device, the torturer would proceed to pour molten silver on the victim's eyes, which resulted in agonizing pain and eventual death. Disturbed? We thought so. Leave a comment below on which method is the most cruel and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, or you could be placed in the brinks, courtesy of the House of Strange.